In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Webmaster Tools. And we can get to Webmaster Tools just by doing uh, google.com slash webmaster. So let me go to my URL here. There we go. So now I'm here. And I can go ahead and sign in because I'm already signed into um, the analytics in my Google property. So right now I have my Google Search Console and it opens up to the same website that I just showed you, the one on 00, zero web host. And one thing you want to do first, first thing is when you do settings, you want to verify. And this is property settings and there's owner verification. And what this means is you can choose uh, how, how it's verified. You can add a meta tag like this. So I can do something like uh, meta tag here and then go back to my um, 000 webhost.com and I'll just edit through that. Um, but you can just add the meta tag to the head tag and click verify and that's how webmaster tools will associate your Gmail account with this property I'll let that load for a second but uh, there are other ways to do it in my case I used um, an actual file uh, which I'll show you I use the, the file method which is a little bit easier for me it keeps my code clean so I'm gonna go to my own account here but again, like 000 web host, if you're in WebD191, you should be you know, running on a real host. Uh, it's worth it. It's, it's your life and it's your career. So, so I'm going to click on File Manager here. And I'm going to click on KDC Core. And you'll see File Manager. So I'm going to go click on that. Not the most usable interface, but this is the file that I uploaded it to uh, verify. So if I go back to ownership, you can do HTML5, which I did here, that you see successfully verified. Or I can pop this in, in my uh, section. So I'll go here, and then I'll edit. The edit button's a little bit hard to find, but I can always add this into the head tag. And I click Save and Close, and then go back to my ownership and, and click Verify as well. And that was successful as well. So. Um, Use your so this is your home page must contain this. Your tracking code should be the head of your tag. You must have the edit permission in the Google Analytics property. So I do have all that, um, and I can go ahead and verify, hopefully. And you see I'm successful here. So now we've got Google Analytics tied with our Webmaster Tools. Now what can Webmaster Tools do? Well, the biggest thing you can do is do sitemaps. And that's a communication with, uh, now this is a submitted sitemap for a different property that I did. Um, but that's uh, communication with Google about what's going on in your website. So you can actually generate that. There's a website that does it. It's Google Sitemaps, xmlsitemaps.com. So what I'm going to do right now, I have nothing on my site, but I don't care. That won't stop me. I'll go ahead and generate a sitemap and upload it for you so you can see. So basically, it's going to make a pass on all the pages, and it'll add the values to the to this sitemap and I can go ahead and verify the view the sitemap details. I can even download it, which I will do. So we'll take a look at that real quick. So a sitemap is telling Google um, exactly uh, what to index and when. So this is my sitemap and it's only one page. So I can do something like this. Let's say I was working on your portfolio and I had a bio, maybe I had about, maybe I had portfolio or work, something like that. What I would do is add those values. Now, there's also other tags that you can add um, to have the, uh, Google have a priority. So uh, let me show you that real quick. If I go back to my sitemap generator here, you're going to see, uh, we can actually view it in here, but there's the last modified. We can actually do a priority tag uh, based on, see the priority right here? Um, let me do... Let me do this. They give you a report too, but uh, I'm going to do priority, and it should be. Uh, I can just hand code this for you. Priority, and it can be on a range of zero to one, and zero means not a priority. One is a priority, so you might do, you know, one on your on your work and your homepage, and maybe you do, you know, point six or something on the bio things that are less important that don't change as much and it's important you see notice see this is the last modification tag the point of that is to get uh 
to tell Google honestly how often you're updating so that they don't uh, come and index a site that uh, hasn't been changed. So this sitemap, once I get it done, I can go ahead and save it. I'll save it to my uh, desktop and then I'll just upload it. And then I'll verify the sitemap in front of you. So this is a communication with Google. And it, you know, I started doing this because I read a book about seven years ago, seven or eight years ago about getting in bed with Google and it really paid off. Um, it was a, I've had great success with using sitemaps. So back into our search console, which is the webmaster tools. Now I can go ahead and do sitemap.xml. But first, before I forget, I need to uh, upload this. So let's go ahead and we'll get uh, the uploading going here. Let's see if here it is right here. Upload files. So I'm just going to go right to my sitemap XML, open it, and click upload. And remember, my, my sitemap has, you know, four or five pages to give an example to you, but I only have one page on my uh, my section. So what we're going to do now is go back to our sitemap here and let's submit it. And Google will periodically process it and look for changes. You'll be notified if anything goes wrong in the future. So it was submitted successfully, which is very good. It might take a while for it to, um, it to get recognized. But I did submit it. Now, once you submit your sitemap, that means Google knows you exist. And that's a great way when you're ready to launch and you know announce yourself to the public to uh, get yourself going. And that's a sitemap.